Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are back in Inside Wanda at the storage unit and right now all I've been doing is just dumping stuff in here. I haven't really been organizing. I've been at PH1 unpacking about three over 300 medium-sized packing boxes from the sale of the Irvine house. So that's what I've been doing in this COVID-19 lockdown, which in my opinion is a complete farce. Um, okay, this is just, some of you will hate me for this, but you know what? I don't really care. I make these videos for myself and these are my opinion. Right now, as of today, the U.S. population is about three over 328 million. So let's say 329. And as of yesterday, there has been about 43 something deaths. So let's say 45. Uh, 45,000 deaths of 329 million is really not that significant. I did the calculations and it's point zero 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 one three percent of the population. That's not even one percent. That's not even coming close to one percent. Last year, over six hundred thousand people died of cancer. That's about two percent. And we didn't do anything about. It. We didn't shut down the economy. We didn't say, "Oh, people, stop eating this or that." because it causes cancer. We didn't do anything about it. We're still looking for a cure. And for COVID-19, we'll be looking for a cure still. But we didn't ruin the economy and ruin people's lives. Right now, there are people who literally are running out of money because they haven't collected their unemployment insurance yet. And they have no way to buy groceries, let alone a home to come home to next week or tomorrow. It's everything is so uncertain financially for a lot of people and the government doesn't seem to realize that well at least not the Nevada governor uh, Nevada has only had hundred and twenty seven deaths and they shut down the economy here people are suffering it's absolutely ridiculous hospitals they're empty <laughs> I don't know they keep showing pictures of these hospital beds that are all empty. Where are these deaths coming from? And the day before, the governor said that he was looking at all these numbers. Well, you know what? I look at numbers too. Just go on the cdc.gov website. <laughs> there aren't that many people dying of COVID-19. And frankly, I agree I generally don't agree with the Nordic countries but in this case I do agree with what Sweden is doing which is nothing <laughs> they're not doing this lockdown they're suggesting people stay home but they're not ruining their economy well it is kind of ruined because they're tied in with the rest of the world but they don't have the same restrictions as the rest of the world does it's it, this is absolutely ridiculous let people get it and be done with it. I've been avoiding trying to get sick or get any kind of cold flu for the last 12 years. It comes down to me washing my hands all the time, disinfecting the area around me. Even when I went to, well, I can say it now, Yarndell Soul, I, I used to get my sanitary wipe and wipe the table down in the chair around me. I've done that for years and I will continue doing it. When I got on planes, Walter and I sanitized the, the area we were in. I've been avoiding trying to get sick again for the last 12 years. This is nothing new. So everyone out there who's in a panic state, well, you're gonna be a panic state all your life because there is another wave coming in two years. It comes in a two to three year cycle. I don't know what it was. I think, what was it? I don't even remember what it was three years ago. 
but another one will come in about two to three years. Who knows where it's going to come from. I may be cutting a lot of this out because I don't agree with myself sometimes. Okay, again, I'm here at Wanda in the storage unit and still unpacking boxes. So this may be the last episode for a while, maybe for a couple of weeks until I'm done unpacking. <laughs> I gotta straighten out Wanda a little bit. I'm gonna make the bed today, hopefully, if I have the the stamina. And that's that's all I'm doing right now. Just unpacking and trying to organize. Oh. It's just a lot of stuff. Well, the nice thing is Goodwill here in Las Vegas is open. So I've been going to Goodwill every other day and donating a lot of duplicates that we have a lot of my yarn has been shipped out to friends and family and you know who you are if you've gotten my boxes um, Ben has received several boxes and the rest are essentially going to our closed company here in Las Vegas I'm just putting it in the conference table and whatever employees happen to drop by to get help with their unemployment or whatever. They can rummage through and the rest is going to Goodwill. And it's a lot of stuff going to Goodwill. Okay, thank you for watching and hopefully this won't be too much longer. I do want to get off the road and travel. Just staying in and the thing that actually bothers me the most or has affected me the most um, is my doctors are all in California still and they've all essentially canceled out my appointments and also what has affected me in my daily life is eating out we eat out a lot <laughs> oh my god we eat out about two to three meals a day and I'm doing a lot of grocery shopping and making meals at home and I don't like it I like just getting up going to a restaurant and having someone serve me food I miss that oh my god do I miss that and the variety of food I can do it at home but oh my god prepping cooking and then the cleanup it's about four hours I don't like it <sighs> so I miss eating out. I really miss eating out. Okay, thank you for watching and just hearing me bitch. Alright, bye!